Okay, welcome to my talk about maps in content management systems. My name is Pirmi Kalbrer. I work for SourcePole, a company in Switzerland. We do WebJS, QGIS based, uh, but I've also written a vector tile server named T-Rex. We're doing QGIS development, core development, plugins, uh, and maintenance and support, and we contribute to other projects. So, how I'm talking about uh, conventional CMS. People have a home page and they want to have a map in in their page. So, the way this is done, um, they have usually the, the plugins for, for the CMS and like 90% of the plugins they include a Google Maps map and that's that's fine um, but um, in the meantime some people care about privacy and they don't want to have uh, cookies from Google or from other, other map providers which um, give information about you and, and what you're doing on the browser and in Europe you have GDPR which uh, forbids certain entities to have maps like Google Maps or, or yeah which has external stored data in it uh, to use that so people are looking for uh, alternatives and what are alternative solutions you can host your own map server. Um, this is what this conference is about and many people here do that but many regular users can't do that because it really requires some special knowledge um, and you have to, to host a map server, you have to maintain it so that's not what you want if, if really that map is not the main part of your business. Then in, in the meantime it got a little bit easier. We have, we have this uh, tiled maps where you can produce tiles and, and store only the tiles on your server and so you don't need a, a map server application. You, don't, you only have to deliver tiles with, uh, which make the map. Um, and there are uh, a few online services which create maps uh, from OpenStreetMap especially um, and you take these maps, copy it to your server and then you, you need some little things like the content type should be correct and then you uh, include a map viewer, a JavaScript map viewer snippet in your page and you can display that. So that's uh, a good general solution and either you, you store these tiles directly as files um, but uh, recently there came up a new format which is called PM tiles uh, which makes this uh, a little bit easier because it's uh, when you do a, a map with uh, many zoom levels and like a bigger extent then you get thousands or hundreds thousands or millions of tile files and that usually that's getting difficult to handle um, and PM tiles stores multiple tiles in one single file it's not um, a SQLite database like PM tiles it is like a regular file uh, and it has metadata in it it has an index in it um, and then you can store tiles, you can store raster tiles and you can store vector tiles and it, it's optimized for HTTP access this file. Um, an SQLite based file like uh, MB tiles is not for HTTP access, it's for local access. Um, so it's a different kind of an optimization which is fine but for a web application, for a web map you don't need um, this kind of layout, so that's that's really the good layout for for web access. Uh, so that's the link about this format, and a link there are um, references to to tools, and there are 
there is quite good map viewer support, so this is already out of date. I have to ask the author of PM Tiles who's sitting in here what I've forgotten. Um, um, but I mean, that's already two major viewers which are uh, supported. So you, have, you can take an open layer snippet and put in um, PM Tiles as data source, and it handles all the rest. And the point is, you don't need any server application. You don't need an application reading from an SQLite database. You don't need uh, an application reading from any database, just reading parts of this file. So now we're talking, that was the mapping part, now we're talking about CMS. And I tried to find out what are the CMS which are in use in, in practice. And my sources said 95% is WordPress, which is a little bit crazy, but it's at least really a high percentage. So I said, okay, I concentrate on WordPress for uh, first and try to uh, deliver a solution, including this kind of map tiles into WordPress. And that's how it looks like. So um, you see the map and you see some text, which is like technical text in this case, but that's uh, the output of an embedded map uh, in a WordPress page. Uh, and on top you see the parameters which are given. Uh, so that's this kind of tag you use in WordPress. And there you can have, uh, you can make your own special tags. And I made this modest map tag, which includes a map underneath. And you can give it a width, a height. And what you give also uh, is, a, is a center point of the map. And, and there is also the mark placed. In the backend side on the, in WordPress administration tool, uh, there is this interface where you can have a preview of the map and, and here you can enter the, the parameters of the map you want to embed. Uh, you can uh, choose certain uh, features of the map, you can uh, choose whether you want in, to include a button to a Google Street View layer on the same place or a Street View link uh, going out of the page or you want to have a link to Google uh, Satellite Map um, and if you click that this is um, inserted in that helper um, tag and you can use that, take that and put it into your uh, page, in your WordPress page. Um, but then the next part is coming, so that's the configuration of the map, and then you need the map data. Um, and that's this button here, download map extract, um, and then we provide a service which extracts vector tiles out of OpenStreetMap data. Um, for a certain extent. It's mainly about uh, in this center and then uh, we have a certain extent so the, the size of the tiles is not that big and everything is written in one MB tiles file and you get this file when you press this button or it's you don't have to save it by yourself it's really just written into your WordPress data directory. Um, yeah, that's that's the the features of the of this extraction, and and the resulting file is directly stored in your WordPress directory, and the viewer is configured to to read from that file. So and that's about it. So. It's stored, yeah, local file system in, 
in your WordPress server and you get the short code which is converted to HTML and you have an integrated map libre JavaScript viewer. That's how we have implemented it. It's uh, like a, a, a slim solution for the viewer and we have a Right now we have just one style, but with um, vector tiles you could also have different styles and or customize your style. Uh, but for the beginning we just provided one standard style fitting to the uh, extract. Yeah, and that's it, that's the plugin. Um, this is on the plugin page on WordPress. Um, it has, um, it has been there like maybe for half a year now. And the problem, I found out I, I wasn't so, uh, I didn't know much about WordPress before. Um, and the problem with this plugin repository is that um, you, um, that the, the plugins you find or you find first are the, all the, the heavily used plugins. So if you search for map, you get like 20 Google Maps plugins and then uh, 20 more and, and this new plugin with zero installation is maybe on page 10 or 15 if you're in your search and so it never gets um, downloads and it's not upvoted and it's never found. So that's a little bit the pity, uh, it's hard to, to, it seems to be necessary that you promote uh, a WordPress plugin and that it gets uh, on top on the, on the list and then it gets installed. So, so I have a very few user feedback right now. It's, it's basically working, but um, not many people try to use it. So that's one reason I show it here. Maybe there are some people interested in that kind of plugins, but also to show um, that this kind of integration can be done quite easily uh, with vector tiles and um, especially with PM tiles and I think especially public administration they m more and more they will s look for this kind of maps. Uh, in the meantime there was a, a tendency that people started to, to display no map at all because they had the problem with their Google Maps and then they had the problem with the key and the, the paid subscriptions and so on. And then came this, this ugly warning uh, that is for developing only and the action was that they turned off their map. And I mean, that's not the, the best solution. So I ask you to, to help or to, to tell people that there are other solutions uh, out of, of Google Maps. So yeah, that's what I can show you. Uh, thank you.